WCSH 6 brings you more local information than any other main news organization on air, online, and everywhere you are at m.wcsh6.com. Good evening, everyone. Welcome again to Bill Green's Maine. Jonathan Trapp is an adventurer. He flies beneath clusters of balloons on amazing trips. He's currently in Caribou, getting ready to attempt an historic crossing of the Atlantic. We visited him in Caribou and talked with him about his daring adventure. Seeing Jonathan Trapp in flight captures the imagination. The flying machine you are looking at is complex, yet fundamentally simple. Didn't you have this idea? I mean, when you're little, just yeah. holding on to a giant cluster of, of toy balloons and floating away? It's a pretty universal idea across its cultures and generations and borders. Jonathan prefers to be called Trap, and as I talked with him at a hangar in Caribou, I didn't know what to make of his project. At first you wonder why, and then you wonder, why not? With a cluster of balloons, you have an inherently highly redundant system. It's a guy that almost made it across the Atlantic in 77. He got a rip in his balloon, a great balloonist, a rip which put him, caused him to put down about 100 miles short of his goal. A rip in one of my balloons is trivial. I've got 369 more. Trapp has flown over the English Channel and the Alps. He's even flown a house just like we saw in the movie Up and filmed himself along the way. Video he graciously made available to us exclusively for this story, which will air just this one time. Okay, I'm very stable here. I can't fall. Trapp is a certified pilot assembling the largest cluster balloon flying system to date. November 878 Umbrella Papa is officially an experimental manned balloon and a federally licensed aircraft. To achieve immortality as the first cluster balloon to fly the Atlantic, he needs the right weather system to emerge over the next few weeks. The weather system that we need is a low pressure system, a slow moving low pressure system out to the northwest um, with a high pressure ridge mid-Atlantic and another low pressure system over Europe. Uh, the weather system, the low pressure will get us kicked out to the northeast. The high pressure will keep us from hooking right into the Azores. The low pressure pulls you into Europe. I could talk for about two hours on that. While he waits, he is assembling 50 people who will help stage the flight the night of the big event. We'll have about 50, 50 people, people who are part of the fabric of this community. Um, people from the, the local fire department, people from the Rotary, people from Civil Air Patrol people who are part of the fabric of this community helping to create and build this air. 15,000 feet at night in the Alps. It was so cold and I was asking if it was worth it. And when the sunrise came this morning, it was so apparent to me that it was worth it. As serious as this project is, as death defying, it's charming to watch Trap in flight. The helium gas in the balloons cause his aircraft to rise. In flight, he's in constant communication with ground support. He can slow his ascent by releasing balloons or increase it by releasing ballast, which is water or sand mixed with salt, so it does not freeze. Mr. Chadwick, you had asked about the balloons getting stuck, or maybe it was Mr. Allen. They don't get stuck. Watch. That went off clean, and it's got a descent going. I'm going to man ballast to arrest a descent in case it's too sharp. Another piece of Maine on this adventure is the Maine-built gondola, which is a dinghy known as a Portland pudgy. Should Trap have to ditch in the water, he needs to do it so in a way that his gondola lands bow first. He has, of course, practiced this and spent a couple of nights in his pudgy on Casco Bay. It sails well, it rows well. Um, you but comfortable you, when you buttoned down the hatches and you were just uh, sleeping? Yeah, overnight it was great to sleep in. Uh, it was really wonderful. To watch Trap in flight is mesmerizing. One tends to forget the dangers around him and enjoy the beauty of the moment. As I watch his videos, I get nervous for him. Obviously, he has spent enough time in flight and in study to invent a system he thoroughly understands and has confidence in. Climbing 360, 380 feet per minute. I'm gonna use that as a flight input. Beautiful. It's got me descending, or it's got my climb. 
less sharp anyway. I just like Jonathan Trapp. He is an intense and talented guy who has put his mind and fortune in a project that, when the weather gets just right, will make history one way or the other. We want to wish Jonathan all the success in the world as he attempts his historic adventure.